Hello everyone, Pam Dubois, Dream Real Estate TV. Today I have with me a special guest, Connie Inukai. And Connie's a grandma preneur. My goodness, Connie, this is so awesome to have you on here. She's going to share with us about a book that she currently wrote and did. Um, it's more about a legacy. Connie, thank you so much for being with us. Please first share a little bit about yourself, about Connie, personal information, okay, a little bit so, of personal background. Okay, so my name is Connie Inukai. Um, I have six grandchildren. I have three children and six grandchildren. And I uh, used to teach uh, writing at Johns Hopkins University and University of Maryland for 40 years. Wow. So I actually retired at age 68 and I became an inventor and then I became an entrepreneur. But what I really felt during COVID is uh, I, I never went out because of my age. And so I decided, what can I do productive? And I decided that I would write my life story so that my, ch my children and my grandchildren and maybe even great grandchildren will know all about me long after I'm gone, because nobody's going to know about me unless I tell them. Okay, and it's the same thing. Most people I, I meet, uh, they say, I wish my grandparents had done this, or I wish my parents had written this, because I don't know much about my ancestry. So what I did is, because I'm a retired writing teacher, I decided I have the skills to write and to teach. So I made a course to teach people how to write their own life story. And uh, I'm doing this because I wrote my book first so I could get tips yeah. to pass on to other people who want to write their story and I can make it very easy for them to write it. So um, that's a little bit about me. So um, so you started I, this book during COVID, is that right? What? You started the book during COVID. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Because I think that, uh, you know, I felt uh, for people who um, were stuck at home, especially older people, maybe in senior citizen housing and uh, didn't have any connection to any people around them, like their family, like they couldn't hug grandkids. And so, um, uh, but they could do something. You know, they, we are still in isolation, basically, especially older people are still in isolation. So this is a perfect time for them to do this and they can get information. I got information from all my relatives about things that I didn't know from my past. And now I'm one of the oldest ones remaining. So I think it's my duty to share things yeah. about me. <clears throat> for example, in writing my book, um, <laughs> I did find out um, things that I, my mother never even told me. For example, her parents uh, immigrated to the United States from Poland in 1912, and they had to cancel their trip because my grandma, who I knew, had morning sickness. And the trip that they canceled was on the Titanic. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? Nobody will know after I'm gone, but I, I didn't even know that story. I found out through my cousin because his, uh, our grandmother was pregnant with his father. So he knew the story, but my mother never told me that story. And nobody in my family is going to know about it, would have known about it unless I wrote it in my book. So I have that and very many other stories that people don't know mm -hmm. about our ancestry. So, um, you know, I share all of them in my book. Uh, this is my book. <clears throat> and I have one section called Namesakes. Okay. And I looked at my ancestry and, and um, I'm, I'm Jewish. And in the Jewish religion, you usually name people after somebody who's deceased to honor that person so they can be remembered. And you can tell the children who they were named at, after and why. So, yeah. um, so everybody is named after a deceased relative, except me. <laughs> so I tell them that because my name is Connie yeah. and that's not really a Jewish name. And how did I get that name? Well, my parents actually had six kids. My mother named my, my first sister Sharon after her father. <clears throat> and then he said, she said to my dad, you can name the next one. 
So he picked the name Francis. Okay. So uh, my mother said to him the next day, by the way, where did you get that name? And he said, well, that was my old girlfriend. So my mother was furious. Yeah. And she was, she didn't know what to do. And the nurse that was standing there had a badge on and her name was Connie. So I was named after the nurse. Oh, wow. And so I have my whole book filled with stories because people might be curious about my name. Yeah. Because yeah. it's kind of Spanish or Italian and I'm not. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I filled up my book with lots of stories about my past and my present Mm -hmm. uh, and so many things about me, like I have one page in my in my book of me as a little girl with my sister and my brother and my mother standing next to a car. And I said, notice that car? I think it's a Plymouth. I was born in that car. We couldn't quite make it to the hospital. So I think these are stories that my grandkids are going to love to hear about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's such an awesome idea. It really is because, you know, there's not a whole lot that I know about my grandmother, you know, in you know, her childhood and, and, and I would love to have known more about her, right? Uh -huh. Well, you know, it's not too late because yeah. I'm sure you have relatives that can pass on stories. I did a big campaign contacting relatives um, <clears throat> who told me these stories. Yeah. And so, so uh, I'm so happy that I gathered them because after I'm gone, nobody's going to know those stories Yeah. because they're not even going to know who to contact. Right. Yeah. It's an awesome idea. It really is an awesome idea. And I thank you. And my book, and their what? Kids will it, I said, your kids, your grandkids and their kids will be so happy that you actually did this. Exactly. And yeah. so I, I wrote my story. Um, uh, based on pictures. So many people will write their memoir with like a thousand pages. Yeah. Nobody wants to read that. Nobody wants to write it and nobody wants to read it. So what I did instead is I gathered pictures from photo albums, from my phone, that was for more recent ones. And I gathered everything. And I uh, my whole book is based on pictures with nice captions. That's so awesome. it's very easy to, to write mm -hmm. and it's especially easy to read. Okay. So my, my grand, one grandson loves flipping through my book and especially he loves the, the picture of the Titanic because yeah. he's really into the Titanic and he, he was into the Titanic way before I knew that story. So I'm encouraging people to find their Titanic story and include it in their book because yeah don't you wish that you your your grandparents had left you some oh, facts about them absolutely absolutely so right. let's say someone is actually um you know going to be writing this book what is the one um big tip that you can give them to get them started in doing okay this? well when when they well uh, i put it together in six <clears throat> six easy steps that they could take so they could write their book in six weeks okay i'm wow. just finishing off one for a person i i do it in three different ways one way is they can do it themselves they can get my course do it themselves okay. um uh, another way is uh they can sign up for it and have weekly q and a's and ask me questions and i'll help them and the okay. third way is ghostwriting Okay. Uh, where if they're too busy, I will actually write it for them. And I have a few customers. I've, I've kind of recently started and all my customers want ghostwriting. I don't know why. I think they're afraid to write it. They don't know where to start. Yeah. They don't know uh, what to do. So they ask me to do it for them. And of course, I can't write it without information. So I get the information and uh, we just we're just uh, finishing up another one. And it's incredible. Wow. And, uh, what do they do? Well, the first thing they have to do, the, the hardest thing to do is to go gather pictures. But that's kind of fun mm -hmm. because you could do it with your children, right. you know, find pictures and you could tell the stories to them as you're looking through your pictures. You could say, look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. I have a picture of uh, me 
and my family, I didn't have a picture of this because we didn't have cameras like this in those days, but yeah. it was a picture of our house. And my father <clears throat> had built, because there were six kids, he built an extension onto our house. And uh, it was a sunken living room, okay? A sunken family room. Okay. And so one day, uh, all six of us got a hose. They were gone. We got a hose and we started making it into a swimming pool because <laughs> it was a sunken oh, pool. No. And so when they got home, we got into trouble. So I tell my kids, my, my grandkids, yeah, grandma used to be young ones too. <laughs> you know, so, um, so I, uh, so those are pictures that I put in. I didn't have a picture of the flooded room, but I had a picture of a hose next to a, 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 a sunken room. So these are all really fun stories. Yeah. And it's not like they have to read a thousand pages because even the kids love to look through my book. Yeah. My grandkids, my oldest grandchild is nine. Yeah. Okay. And I have six of them. Oh, so, wow. So what I really want to do is most people are afraid. They have no idea how to start, where to get started, what to do. So I, my course, I wrote a course because I'm a retired writing teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and my whole course has exactly what they have to do each week. That's great. That is great. So, so tell us how someone would actually find that course, Connie. Um, how would you find the course? Um, well, you can find it. I'm on Thinkific. And, uh, I believe that it's called, um, whoops. Um, I'm sorry. I believe it's called. Are you on a website? Uh, yeah, I have a website. It's called uh, writeyourselfie.com. Okay. okay. And they can contact me through there. Or okay. they could go to write yourselfie. Uh, slash thinkific.com. And then okay. they can see my course. And if anybody wants to uh, test drive mm -hmm. through you, because you're talking to me, I okay. will give them a free course, but they can't get my help. If they want, if they want to just try it on their own, they can have all my lessons. And I, uh, if they're interested, they can contact me, uh, email me through writeyourselfie.com. Okay. And I will give them the course and a free a coupon to get it free. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Hear that, you guys? She's willing to give you a free course on writing this legacy book for your grandkids and for their grandkids. Yeah. So um, so that's that's what I'm willing to do because I uh one one thing that uh, I've learned from being a grandmapreneur. Uh, at an older age is when we do something, we do it more uh, for passion than for money. And I really feel a passion to help people get out their life story because everybody has a story and we all want to tell our story, just how to get started. That's the, that's the, the fear that people have. So I'm trying to relieve them of that fear. Hear that everyone, Connie is offering a free course to help you write this book with your legacy on there. So take her up on that. And also, if you don't wanna go through that, she's also um, able to help you with writing the book. She's got different choices, different things that you can actually pick from. Connie is amazing. I, I am so happy that you joined us today to share this information. This is great for people out there that's actually wanting to do this because I, I, I haven't heard of this anywhere. So you are the first to do this. And this is awesome, Connie. Uh, you. You've shared your website. Uh, you've shared your personal information. Any other information you want to share for someone to get in contact, get in contact with you? Well, by the way, this, this offer is for your viewers, for your audience. Only okay? for my viewers, guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Only for yours, for yours. Okay. Um, any, any, any time they want to get in touch with me, they can, they can contact me at, uh, writeyourselfie.com. And I am so excited about this project because I've made it very affordable. Actually, free is pretty affordable. If they, if they can do it on their own, they can do it for free. And it's kind of minimal if you want to uh, uh, have my help. And my help is pretty good because I, uh, I've taught writing for uh, over 40 years. 
you have amazing experience with writing. Yeah, that's awesome. And you guys, yeah, definitely um, reach out to us if you're wanting to write your book on legacy and we will definitely put you in the direction of Connie so you, she, she can help you with this. Connie, thank you so much for being with us today. This is great. You are just one awesome person going through and doing this during COVID, pivoting and, and making best use of your time. Thank you so much. Thank Everybody. you very much. Thank you for, for uh, reaching out to me. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. Stay safe, everybody. Be blessed. And we'll talk to you soon.